In this video, I'm gonna be installing some new front brakes on this Nissan Pathfinder. The job is pretty easy, but there is some tricky spots. So I'll go into a little more detail on those tricky spots. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. Thanks. After you're done, you can go back and just double check and see if there's any play in that wheel bearing. So there's a good amount of play in these but I haven't even taken it apart yet. So when I'm done, there really shouldn't be any play. And now we're at the part where everyone wishes you just had slide on rotors and they're not. They're bolted into this hub assembly. So we're going to take this apart. Not too bad. We'll take this cap off first. I just take either a punch or a chisel or a screwdriver and a hammer. We'll just pop this cap off. And it's mostly just a dust boot, so. There we go, that pops off. There's a little O-ring right there. This one's still in good shape. So we'll just put a little lubrication on there when we go back together. Now you're gonna need some snap ring pliers to take this snap ring off. And now you're gonna need some snap ring pliers to take this snap ring off. Just like that. It just slides off. Now I take all these nuts out. Grab this, just give it a little bonk. Should come right off. There we go. Slide that off. All right, now you can wipe this grease away a little bit so you can see what's going on. And there's a couple of screws, a couple of Phillips head screws holding this on. Oh, those are pretty... Those are in there pretty good. There we go. If they're not coming out, just give your screwdriver a little tap. And get a little pressure on it. There we go. Loosen them up. Don't lose them. I can use a pick. And just try to take this off. You could try to take it off with a magnet as well. There we go. And slide that out. Now, 
This is very loose, so you don't even need a socket to get this off. You can just twist it off like this. Coming off will be a little bit easier. That was easy. Slide that out. And just grab the hub. Wiggle it out. Might have to give it a tap. There we go. Slides right out. This is a Baron. We're going to reuse that. And slide it up. There we go. Now I'm going to just put this down on a couple pieces of wood, making sure that you don't mess up the seal on the bottom, which is fine. And take all these bolts out. And you get some lock washers in here. Now we're going to separate these. I like to just hold the hub and then give the rotor a tap. Just go around. There we go. And it's up. So we'll just clean this up a little bit. Use like a wire brush or something. Don't grind away too much metal. So that's all cleaned up. If you want, you can throw a little bit of anti-seize on there. Then next time it won't come off so difficult. All right, now I'll take the hub and just line this up. That looks good. Get all the bolts started. Make sure you have those lock washers on. And just tighten those all down. I'm just gonna alternate. Now we're gonna take this seal out. It's a good idea to replace this seal, but if you don't ruin it too bad, you can probably reuse it. Yep. One of the easier ways to get the seal out, take a 36 millimeter socket and let's see if you can just push that down. Take a hammer, give it a tap. Just uh, have a rag or something underneath so you can catch the bearing. There we go but it's a good idea to replace that. Now you wanna take the old baron out. There's a lot of grease on here. You can wipe off the old grease if you want. Now you gotta repack the bearings. If you have a bearing packing tool, use that. If you don't, then you're gonna to have to do it by hand. Doing it by hand, just take some bearing grease, stick it in your hand, and just take the bearing and just go like this. And you're gonna see that you're starting to get grease through the top of the baron, then you rotate it. It just takes a little bit of time if you don't have a tool. Looking good. Now 
That looks like it's packed all the way around. You can go around the outside, put some grease on the outside. Just clean this up a little bit. And throw it back in there. Again, if you want to do a good job, go ahead. But grease is grease. It's going to work. And then you're going to pack the other bearing as well. I ended up getting a new seal, but this seal doesn't actually have a lip. The other one had a lip on it, so you don't want to install this seal too deep. So I actually have one of these rings right here. This is from a rear differential. So I'm just going to slide this over. Looks pretty good. And bearings in there and there's grease. Line this up. And I'm just going to take a 4x4 four four and just give it a tap. Looks like it's all the way down. Perfect. Now take the rotor, slide it in position. Take your front bearing, make sure that one's packed. And take this nut, get this started. When putting this back together, you want a axle socket like this. Uh, I don't have an actual size right here. That fits perfect. As you're tightening this up, just spin, spin the hub. Now I've done this many times without a tool like this, using two screwdrivers. It's not the best way or the best method, but it does work. Um, this is a little more accurate. The correct way to do this is just give this a spin and you want to torque this to 60 foot pounds and then spin it. That's just going to set the bearings. It's pretty good right there. I normally just spin it and snug it up good and then loosen it. And then you can take an inch pounds torque wrench and then just torque it to 13 inch pounds. Open it up, loosen it and then just snug it. Almost zero, almost zero torque. You can take this lock ring. This is gonna prevent that nut from loosening up. There's a couple teeth on there. Line that up. And take the two screws. Find where the holes are. There we go. If the holes don't line up, you can always flip the locker, flip it around, try that, see if that works. Or you can, you can loosen the nut up a little bit or snug it up a little bit. So that looks good. And then after you're done, you can just give the wheel a shake and see if there's any play there. If there's still a lot of play, you might have to tighten that nut up a little bit more. Now we can put this hub on. It's hub cover. And 
and put all the nuts on. We can snug these down. Take your lock ring. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's going to help me out. I do a lot of automotive and mechanical stuff. Try to make it interesting. Put some music to some time lapse and stuff. So just line this up. Actually, we'll get this started first. I can just push that on. You can grab the axle from the back and push it forward. Sometimes it's easier just to take a socket that fits over it uh, and push it on. That's good. Make sure that's completely all the way around. And there's an O-ring right there. Oh, there was an O-ring underneath this hub also, um, ours looks fine, so and this looks fine. So, now take the cap, it's all set. Line this up, just give it a tap. Be careful, you don't want to damage the cap too much. It looks good. All right, hard stuff's over. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. And remember to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks.